I'm Nicholas Dimmock. I'm Director of Investor Relations at Organic Heat Exchanges. And this is a promotional video of Organic Heat Exchanges, their technology, and also their product, which is Energy Vault. Hi, my name is Bob Long, and I'm the uh, founder of Energy Vault and the inventor of the Energy Vault battery technology. Energy storage has become the holy grail very quickly of the renewable energy industry. Ultimately what the networks want, they want to flatten the curve and then the only way you can do that is with storage. The global demand for energy storage it is only ever increasing and we're going to take full advantage of that. And if your predominant load is cooling of one form or another, whether it be air conditioning, whether it be process chilling or whatever, the only way you can do that efficiently is with a cold storage device such as Energy Vault. Energy Vault is a retrofitable bolt-on product to existing cooling systems. Essentially it's a big tank with a charger which is an organic heat exchanger in itself. By using artificial intelligence and digital controls, the Energy Vault system is in control of when it charges and makes sure that any charging or discharging is efficient and reliable. It's a fantastic, game-changing innovation. We're in Energy Vault's development workshops here, where we've replicated a complete Energy Vault system. The main problem with energy storage, thermal energy storage, has been the charging and discharge rates of the battery. The Energy Vault solves that problem in a dramatic and flexible way. And they do this by coating ice spheres in a little nanotech wrapper which stops big ice blocks building up. The Energy Vault seen here contains 400 litres of fluid with the potential to store 300 kilograms of phase change material, in this case crystalline ice in a suspension with particles of less than a tenth of a millimetre each. The benefit of this is you get surface area. The same miracle of surface area that allows us to exchange gases efficiently in our lungs, the same surface area that allows us to absorb nutrients in our guts. The surface area volume relationship of each little ice particle means that the cooling effect is absolutely instant, meaning that we can discharge the contents of the battery extremely fast from a small battery to support incredibly large cooling loads. This allows us to be compact, low cost and high efficiency. This increase in surface area, increase in efficiency is going to be around 60%. Increase in efficiency of 60% means decrease in costs of around 60%. We can quantify the amount of energy we have stored, we can quantify the remaining charge capacity and we can quantify the discharge rates, supporting cooling loads otherwise not supportable. So you can charge energy vault up, huge, huge capacity, and it can run without being plugged into an external power supply. And it's seamless, and this of course has never ever been a feature of any banking system up until this day. They've put their 12 milestones together, they know exactly what they're doing, the team is complete, the product's ready for commercial launch. We feel that we have an extremely robust patent and a very exciting technology. I've been in the environmental sector since 2007, I was an emissions broker at Talit Prebon. I split off from there, started doing it for myself, we were involved in around 50 uh, projects, environmental projects, utility scale environmental projects, including a 1,500 megawatt hydroelectric power plant for Ecuador. 1,500 megawatt, absolutely huge, provides Ecuador with a third of its power. Now, 24 hour base load, an absolute game changer for the country. Now, fortunately, OHX has also got a complete game changer. In today's money, around about $150 billion worth of chiller equipment. Um, in the marketplace out, out there. There are many different reasons why you would use Energy Vault and apply it to an existing system. And, the, and the, the scale of the existing chiller market out there is so vast. There are many, many applications where Energy Vault is, is particularly attractive. In places like Dubai, Jordan, Saudi Arabia, when you're burning fossil fuels to create the energy to create cold, now you don't have to do that. You can reduce your energy costs by 80% by utilising an energy vault. I have a background in the, in the accounting profession. 
and was at Grant Thornton for over 20 years. Uh, half of that time as a corporate finance partner, but also as a managing partner. Since then, I've been focusing on the energy sector. Back in 1994, I was operating and owning a large refrigeration company in South Africa, and we became an active member of a four-company think tank. The purpose of it was to take a very useful technology where we could produce this high energy value, rapid phase change, new material called ice slurry, and learn how to produce it reliably and manage it, primarily for the use of ships at sea for trawled catches of fish being brought to a state of preservation very quickly and very effectively. My knowledge of the material and my knowledge of handling the material allowed me to think more laterally into the area of thermal energy storage on land to focus it on a new invention which we named the Energy Vault. They've developed this fantastic AI system that takes in all the factors that you could ever want. Capacity of the plant, load factor of the plant, how many people are in the hotel, how many people are going to come to the hotel, weather forecast, wind forecast, solar forecast, and takes in all this and gives the optimum times to buy power. You can choose when to purchase your power to make it cheap and to make it low carbon. Electricity prices are getting increasingly and increasingly volatile. To give you an example, in the UK particularly, um, the nighttime energy is typically half the carbon intensity of daytime energy. The AI essentially is second to none. With the capacity increases and with the AI, that's another 20%. Chillers don't particularly operate efficiently when they're on part load. So again, one of the advantages of an energy vault system is that you can allow those chiller uh, installations to work more optimally and, and much more efficiently by running one at 100% load. If you have a more, more demand than that one can deliver, instead of bringing another one at part load, you supplement it with the energy vault uh, cooling. So you've got an overall optimization of an existing system. Or indeed, if you've got your own renewable generation on site, you can flex your cooling demand around with an energy vault so you can use as much of that local generation as possible. When you're producing that cold effort, that cold work to crystallise the fluid, you're also rejecting heat because effectively you're drawing heat out of that, that fluid. That heat is not just wasted and thrown away, but actually recovered in two heat stores. So not only are you putting energy into your crystallizer to produce your cold store, but you're also producing hot storage which can be used for domestic hot water, for showering, for, for hand washing. It can be used for process cooling, where you would be using it for wash down of process areas. So you've got a, a heat recovery benefit. It's quite typical, particularly in food producers, where businesses grow and grow and grow to start adding more and more and more chiller capacity. But eventually they'll bump up to grid constraints or some other, some other operational constraints. Maybe they want to go from a single shift to, to twin shift. The constraint of being able to provide sufficient cooling is quite a real issue and stops that business growing. The addition of a cold energy storage immediately augments that existing chiller, chilling system to, to increase their capacity of operations, at the same time avoiding any need to draw more power uh, from the grid. So if they have a grid constraint problem and grid connection issues are more and more of prevalent these days, then again an energy vault solution would be perfect. Uh, and that is a very typical si situation that we're finding more and more talking to different potential customers. We all know data centres are, are big consumers of, of electrical power but they also tend to generate an awful lot of heat and need cooling regularly. So we know that systems have um, small buffer tanks in them for, for cooling, but in, in a data centre, the uninterruptible power supply just provides the power to the computing facility to turn off. It doesn't provide power to the chillers that are maintaining the system. So an energy vault is basically a cold battery that is allowing the system to operate for longer or to maintain its operation whilst the genset comes in, avoiding the data centre to turn everything off. So there's at least four particular benefits that we see of energy vault and all the different applications, whether that be a, an ice rink, a food producer, uh, a hotel or whatever, will all find different levels of those same common denominator value propositions. Our modelling, half an hour, our energy data looking at a range of different applications suggests that in a retrofit application where you're adding the optimum level of energy vault storage to optimise chillers, to manage your energy, um, to charge at the right time, to discharge at the right time, can deliver a payback anything from one and a half years to, to, to three or four years, uh, making it a very attractive proposition um, with a 15 year plus lifetime. Um, the overall value that that creates is really quite considerable.
Using off-the-shelf components means that we can scale quickly and easily into global markets using local supply chains and local service personnel. Retrofitable to all industrial cooling systems all around the world. This piece of equipment is the Energy Vault battery charger, a very standard piece of refrigeration equipment. The collective of all this technology is the fundamental of our patent. We are extremely confident that we have pieces of equipment operating all over the world producing the raw material. The Energy Vault is a valuable use of this raw material. The last couple of years has seen organic heat exchanges get to the point where we are now investment ready. We have a grant now in place to part fund the demonstration unit. We have a number of trial sites ready and willing to go. And we also have a pipeline of customers ready to buy the system once we have a demonstration unit at commercial scale in place. There's a long cold food chain from food producers, whether they be, let's say, fish producers, bringing in a catch that needs to be chilled and held in the cold store. Many, many other goods need to be held at, at chilled temperatures, maybe four degrees, typical to your refrigerator, or indeed at cold stores, minus, minus 18 degrees transported to cold stores in supermarkets. That whole cold chain requires refrigeration all along the way and Energy Vault will be playing into all of that and that is our focus as, a, our, as our starting market. Once the commercial trial has been completed we will also be commercialisation ready. The intention is to sell the Energy Vault system on both a UK and an international basis. And we already have customers talking to us in the UK and other organisations in countries such as Australia, UAE and America wanting to engage in discussions with us about using the Energy Vault system in their geographical territories. We are very aware of the need to be careful about spending investors' money. Whilst we're entrepreneurial, we're also fiscally experienced with a highly capable management team. As well as spending investment on a full-scale commercial application, we'll be spending investment on the commercialisation of the business such that we're ready to go to market just as soon as the commercial trial is complete. The Energy Vault solution is reliable, offers high returns and will be a great step towards the net zero future. The financial plans indicate that once we start selling the Energy Vault system, we'll reach revenue of £50 million within three years, generating profits of £10 million. I feel very privileged for the opportunity to work with Energy Vault on this. After a long career of developing energy storage and smart control technologies, I feel like Energy Vault can really make a difference on a global scale. The next few years are going to be extremely exciting for organic heat exchangers. All the groundwork has been done. We're now ready to prove our technology to the marketplace and then to make a huge impact on the global energy storage market. We're focused on delivering that elusive bulk energy storage at a low cost that will allow renewable energy to become more and more prevalent. So in terms of the market potential for OHX and specifically Energy Vault, cooling at the moment accounts for 20% of global emissions, obviously through generating the energy that you need to cool. Now industrial cooling, which is a subsector of that, an Energy Vault's market, is around 50% of that. So the Energy Vault addresses 10% of global emissions and based on their figures, they can reduce those emissions by 80% through the surface area, the capacity, the AI. So, I mean, really, the size of the market is about the same as solar PV. We're funding this business in five milestones. They've put together a 12 milestone plan. All the steps that they need to take, to take the business from where it is now, which is early stage, to list the milestones. There are 12 milestones, one quarter per milestone. So it's a 36 month program. They're gonna be funding five times in that. The last fundraising milestone 12 will hopefully be a list. And we're looking for investors that can support us, support the business in each funding milestone as we go along, because that makes it easier to raise the money but we have done it in milestones because it's better for the investors and it's better for the company. Raise, hit your targets, do what you're supposed to do and you can have some more money. You're welcome to get in contact with us but I really hope to see you on the other side as a shareholder of OHX. Thank you very much.